Around Cincinnati. Brought to you by Bravo and all his friends. Only at Newport Aquarium. Hey everyone, welcome back to The List. Our new smart parking meters are already getting an upgrade and hopefully the changes will make your night out worry free. Janelle Walton has your top talkers around Cincinnati. At number one, parking downtown just got a whole lot easier because the meters just got a whole lot friendlier. New this week, drivers can pay for extended evening hours in OTR. You can pay at 6 p.m. for three hours and be done for the day. This means while you're feasting on dinner, you don't have to feed the meter too. Smart meters, the ones with the digital face, also give early birds a break. You can show up at, say, 8 o'clock, even though the meter doesn't start until 9, and pay for two hours of time. So at 8 o'clock, and then the meter won't kick on until 9 o'clock, and you'd be, you'd be good until 11 o'clock. The city is also considering options for refeeding meters from your cell phone. At number two, Mad Cat Puppet's new theater won't open for another year, but here's a first look at what the company's new digs will look like inside the old Cincinnati Bell Exchange building in Westwood. I'm Squint. Nice to meet you. You need a lot of space to move around with puppets as tall as six feet. The 20,000 square foot building will also house classrooms and an exhibit hall at the corner of Harrison and Epworth Avenues. You don't have to wait until 2016 to see the puppets do their thing in a new theater. The next performance is under the bonsai tree at the Clifton Cultural Arts Center, March 21st. At number three, as you're planning your Super Bowl menu, why not include some favorite foods from your childhood? Thrillist.com released its list of the 21 things you've definitely eaten if you grew up in the Midwest. Included on its menu are Ponchki, Polish Boy Kielbasa sandwiches, and Superman ice cream. Now you're caught up and clued in. Around Cincinnati, brought to you by Newport Aquarium.